Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics free lecture. In the first unit, linear differential equation with constant coefficients. In first unit, uh, this in the last lecture we discussed uh, type five or case five of shortcut method. Shortcut method is used to find the remaining half solution of LD linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Now here type six or case six of shortcut method. Shortcut method is used to find the particular integral. Now see what is type six or case five. When the function is f of x is equal to x into v, where v is any function of x, then in that case, how to find the pi? The formula to find the pi is one upon phi of d into f of x. Here f of x is x into v, product of two functions. One of them is linear function x, and v is any function of x. Now the formula to find the pi when the function is x into v is here. In bracket x minus phi dash of d upon phi of d bracket complete into one upon phi of d into v. Now there is that note is there. That first point is that here v is any function of x, mostly it is trigonometric function, and second is power of x must be one here, yeah. and then we can use this case six x into v. This is the formula of case six, and the two remarks are there. Now the example of case six. Is here solve d square minus 2d plus 1 into y is equal to x into e raised to x into sine x. This is one example. First example. Here it is in reduced form phi of d into y is equal to f of x. So you equate that phi of d equal to zero so that you will get the auxiliary equation. That is d square minus 2d plus 1 is equal to zero is an auxiliary equation here. Now, what are the factors of d square minus 2d plus 1 is equal to 0? It is a perfect square, d plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So the factors are uh, factors are here, d is equal to 1, 1. It means there is single factor 1 and it is repeating two times. So the complementary function is here, c1 plus c2x into e raised to x. And we are using the rule of complementary function. When two roots are equal, then how to write the complementary function? We are discussing in first lecture already that rules of complementary function. So here we can write when two factors are repeated and they are real numbers, then uh, how to write the complementary function? So the complementary function is c1 plus c2x into e raised to x. So how to find the pi? The two uh, formula is one upon phi of d into f of x. Here phi of d is d square minus 2d plus 1 into f of x. f of x is here x into e raised to x into sin x. There is product of three functions. One of them is exponential, second one is linear function and third one is the trigonometric function. So if this is the case that there, there are three functions, then you solve for first exponential function and then you consider the remaining term as a one function. So here exponential function is e raised to x. So you solve for exponential function and remaining term as uh, one function. So it is the case now, case five, e raised to x into v. Now you know how to solve for uh, x, uh, that uh, e raised to x into v. You replace the term of d by d plus a. Here the coefficient of exponential function is one. So you replace the term of terms of d by d plus one, uh, e raised to x as it is in bracket one upon replace the terms of d by d plus one so that we have the term d plus one whole square minus two into d plus one plus one into the remaining term is here x into sin x that x into sin x as it is now simplify next step step simplify the denominator term d plus one whole square its expansion is d square plus two d plus one minus now you solve for this bracket term d plus one into two so the term is minus two d minus two plus one into x into sine x. Now simplify this uh, denominator term again, so that you will get the term uh, e raised to x as it is into one upon that 2d minus 2d get cancelled. One plus one, two, two minus two um, get cancelled and the term is only one upon d square. 
So here is x into one upon d square into the function is here x into sine x. So right here x into sine x. So now you solve for x into sine x. X into sine x means it is now the case six x into v case. Now solve for x into v. So the formula is here for x into v. See the formula is here. Uh, discuss it here. For x into v case, the formula is x minus phi dash of d upon phi of d bracket complete into one upon phi of d into v. So we are using this formula here uh, because the case is x into v. See, x into v. E raised to x as it is because the work of x uh, e raised to x means the uh, exponential function is over here. So the exponential function as it is. Now solve for x into v. The formula is x minus phi dash of d. Phi dash of d means derivative of d square. Derivative of d square is 2d. So write in numerator 2d upon d square because phi dash of d upon phi of d. Phi of d is d square. So write in denominator d square. Black bracket complete into one upon phi of d. Phi of d is d square. So write in denominator d square into the function v is sine x. So write here sine x. We are using case six here x into v. Now that exponential function again e restricts as it is. Now solve for this outside term one upon d square into sine x. How we solve for sine function? It is the second case or type two of shortcut method. Sine a x plus b case trigonometric function case. In trigonometric function, we replace the terms of d square by minus one. Uh, minus a square. Here the value of a is one. The coefficient of trigonometric function is one. Its square, if we take the square, it is one again, and then give negative sign to it. So replace the terms of d square by minus one. We always replace the terms of d square in uh, trigonometric function and not the terms of d. You remember it. And so replace this d square by minus one. If we replace this d square by minus one. Then the simplification of this term is minus sine x, and so in next step you take minus sine common, it is equal to minus e raised to x as it is in bracket term x minus 2d upon d square into sine x. Now you solve this bracket term for sine function sine x. Again in next step minus e raised to x as it is. Now solve for sine x. Solve this bracket term for sine x. So x into sine x is x into sine x. Uh, minus two as it is d uh, by d square. D by d square means uh, one d will be get cancelled. So here the term will be one upon d. One upon d of sine x. One upon d means integration of sine x. When the uh, term of d is in numerator, in that case we take the derivative. When the term of d is only single term of d is in denominator, then in that case we take the integration. So minus two as it is. D upon d square means simplification is one upon d. One upon d means integrate. Integrate sine x. Integration of sine x is minus cos x. And so this minus sine will become plus minus minus plus two as it is derivative of sine. Sorry, uh, integration of sine x cos x minus cos x. So it is plus two cos x. So this is your answer here. Means the pi is this one. And so the general solution is y is equal to c f plus p i, and so y is equal to c f plus p i. C f is here c one plus c two x into e raised to x minus the p i is here minus e raised to x in bracket x sine x plus two cos x. So this is your answer for the example. Now next example, solve one minus d square into y is equal to x into sine three x. It is again the reduced form of L D. Phi of D into Y is equal to f of x. So the auxiliary equation is here. One minus d square is equal to zero. It is an auxiliary equation. So the factors one minus d square is equal to zero means one is equal to d square means the factors for d are plus one minus one. These are the two factors. They both are real numbers and they are distinct and dif distinct means different numbers. So the complementary function is here: c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x. Now, how to find the pi? Pi is one upon one minus d square into x into sine three x. 
sin 3x now solve uh, this uh, find the value of pi when the function is in the form of x into v now you uh, this is a case 6 x into v is case 6 so using the formula you will get the pi for x into sin 3x so the formula is x minus phi dash of d phi dash of d derivative of this phi of d phi of d is here 1 minus d square its derivative is d square derivative 2d minus sign is there so give minus sign minus 2d upon your phi of d phi of d is 1 minus d square so write 1 minus d square in bracket complete into 1 upon Phi of d, phi of d is here one minus d square into sine three x, sine three x. Now solve this term which is outside the bracket one upon one minus d square into sine three x. So replace how to find uh, the pi, uh, how to solve this term of sine three x. You uh, use the case two result, case two formula when there is trigonometric function, and in that case we replace the Term of d square by minus a square. So here, the value of a is three, so its square is nine. So replace d square by minus nine, and so the term is here one minus minus of nine means one plus nine is ten into sine three x. Now this one upon ten is constant term, so you write down that constant term outside the bracket. In you solve this bracket term for sine function sine three x. So x into sine three x is x into sine three x plus two d upon one minus d square into sine three x. Now solve this term for sine three x. Now replace the terms of d square by minus nine because we are uh, solving for sine function. Again, the uh, same situation is here in that a is three, so the square of a three is nine. You negative sign to it and replace the terms of d square by minus nine. So one minus of minus nine means plus ten. Uh, and two upon ten is one by five. So the term is here one by five. And d means derivative. If single d is there in numerator, then you take the derivative of that function. So derivative of function sine function is here. Cos functions derivative of uh, sine three x is cos three x into Three because the coefficient of angle is three x, so the composite derivative is here three. So the uh, complete term is three cos three x upon five, and this is the pi here. And then the general solution is here y is equal to c x plus pi, which is equal to c one e raised to x plus c two e raised to minus x plus one by ten in bracket x sine three x plus one by five in bracket three cos three x. This is the general solution. And the next example, this is uh, for your homework. You try to solve this example. D square plus four into y is equal to x into sine x. It is again the x into v case. You can use the formula of case case six here. And this is case six. Here all the methods, uh, sorry, all the cases of um, shortcut methods are over here. In next lecture, we are going to discuss. the vp method method of variation of parameters is used to find a particular integral is the third method to find a particular integral thank you